Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. What are you out here to do? You're out here getting money. Proverbs chapter 7. I'm going to show you the spirit what you're rolling in. And it's not a godly spirit, sis. We're going to tell you straight. You say you know. Okay, let's fix the problem then. All right? This is for your soul because guess what you're doing? Things that defile your soul. It's not just about your body. It's defiling your soul. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 verse 10 And behold There met him a woman With the attire of a harlot Do you know what that is sis? Nisi what is it? Explain it to me Make it make sense Correct it out. So, Okay so look What we're trying to do is show you the proper way sis. We're not down here to, to make you feel bad But we're going to show you your spirit And the sin that you're in so what's the thing then, sis? So if you know, why are you going against the commandments of God? Hold on. I'm going to show you the spirit. First uh, Samuel 15, 23. Because you got to understand, sis, how, how, like, you know something, but you're not going to do it. You know what you call yourself? Insane. Yeah, it's insane. We tried so many different things as a people and nothing ever changed. We tried voting, guess what? It never changed for us. We tried uh, politics, we tried sports, we tried finances, we never got change. We ended up in the same position. So what you're doing is you're being a product of that and you're doing the same thing. You can't be that way if you know, sis. Read. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So you know you don't supposed to be out here dressed modest. You know you're supposed to be adorning yourself in modest apparel, being shamefaced, not all up in man's face, selling your body, getting money. But guess what? It's rebellion, sis. 
Oh, that's what it is. You don't believe in the Bible. It's, Why, it's which, a, what 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 believe? Only because it's, it's been written so many times. It's, there's stuff missing out of the Bible. So there's things missing Everything and it's been rewritten. What's that relationship? What's that relationship that you? I tell him every, every what What is he saying? I tell him he's talking to me right now. That's what I'm saying. What he's saying? What he's saying? What he's saying? Since June 1st, he's been talking to me and saying he's going to be a So he told you to come out here and sell your body? No, 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 no. He knows his daughter is rebellious. So he knows his daughter is rebellious. Read it again. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion, for going against the commandments of God, selling your body on the streets of Tacoma, wherever you at, getting money, what? It is as the sin of witchcraft. Hey, guess what? Witchcraft is what you're walking in, sis. Because your mind is telling you one thing, then you're doing something else. You know what is right, but you're not going by it. You're in witchcraft. You're double-minded. You're unstable. You need to fix yourself. We're out here to show you the proper way. Guess what? All of us came from those lifestyles of going after women as of that such. You understand, sis? So guess what? Now we got wives and children, and we take care of them. So what are you supposed to be? That you, did God ordain you to be that, or did He ordain you to be a princess to be uh, to follow a godly man? What did He put you here for? What is your purpose? You don't know. You don't know. Just say it. it's fine. First Peter. Bring it out. First Peter. Adorning themselves. Uh, you know, First Timothy two and nine. This is this is the spirit. What you're supposed to do. Read the book of First Peter, chapter two, verse. First Timothy two and nine. The book of First Peter, chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also. That woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. So you know this. You're supposed to adorn yourself in modest, in modest, which means not having sexual attention brought to you. Mine is too. Mine is going to die as well, sis. Where are you going? Where are you going? You appreciate us doing what? About what? About the things that you need to correct in your life. And how serious it is. I know. You know, you, you know, these men that come out here put their life on the line to save you, sis? Because there's people who die right here. There's people who come up against us and try to uh, fight us and stuff. But we got families too. We out here trying to save your soul. But that's what you're trying us. You know how you're trying us? By being rebellious. And guess what? God's going to punish you for that city. You don't change your way, he going to put that same exact way that you going in. He going to give you this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. You going to no. go after this scripture. Because if you don't do what God says, he going to put this curse right in between you. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Also every sickness. What? Also every sickness. And what? And every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. STDs is not written in the Bible. Guess what? He says every what? Every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And that's what will happen when you keep on rebelling against God's laws and for your particular sins, laying down with men and men and men, women and women and women, whoever you laying down with, guess what? That getting money spirit is going to get you that right there. That's what's going to happen. You're going to end up having something that you don't want. You can never get rid of. You got to understand how serious that life that you're walking in. And you're supposed to, you say you know. Did your God in your brain tell you that? No. Read Deuteronomy 28 verse 45. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses. Because guess what? That's the curse of God. You're rebellious unto him, so he brought that curse upon you. Why do you think our community leads STD rates and AIDS? Why do you think so? Because we don't keep the commandments of God. And that's exactly what you're doing. So we're out here to save your soul. Read it again. 
Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. That's the simplest thing. We were brought here because we didn't keep God's laws. We get the curses because we didn't keep God's laws. So guess what? Yeah, I do know too. Now guess what? You gotta I fix yourself. When, when did you learn it? What'd you learn? <laughs> Are you drunk? No, Are you high? And I just smoke. Okay, so that's what's going on too. You're smoking and oh you're selling God. your body. Like and you're out here trying to get money. So your God, you you don't know, you gotta understand what you're going through right now, sis. You're supposed to be sober, sis. Don't listen to Karen. Listen we're right here. Karen. We're right here, sis. We're we're here for you. We're not here for nobody else. Nisi, Nisi, we're right here. Read it again. <clears throat> uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-six. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And guess what? The curses, Nisi. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're 20. I know. So you're 20 years old. What do you know? You're just out of childhood. You're just out of childhood. What do you know? You're supposed to be guided by righteous women. Get Ezekiel 1644. What is your We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.